What's going on, Tubes? Fearless here. Um, I have a very interesting video that many people who use Predator engines will be very interested in. This video is in regards to the adjustable main jet for the carburetor on the Predator 212 Hemi and non-Hemi. Now, the stock jet on the non on the engines that aren't for California is 0 0.028. Now, as many people know that run these engines on snow blowers, you have to run the engine on slight choke um, in the winter under 40 degrees. Now, a lot of people they will just put a slightly larger jet in to fix that issue for winter running. Um, they'll put a 0 0.030 jet in and that'll basically smooth out the engine to run it off choke in cold air. But um, the thing with that is, you know, you go into different altitudes or if the engine goes into different temperatures, you still may need to adjust the carburetor. And that would mean changing the jet all over again. Well, with this adjustable <clears throat> main jet, you won't have to. You'll just be able to adjust it to the proper altitude, temperature, every time. Now, for me, that's great, especially for this machine, because this is a snowblower in the winter, and then I put my mower attachment on in the spring. So right there, I would need to be able to adjust it from cold weather to warm weather. Okay? Like I said, the stock jet is 0 0.28. Now, the adjustable main jet comes with the needle valve as well as a jet that is about 0 0.045 very easy to install uh, first of all you would take a 10 millimeter to remove the stock um, float bowl boat bolt right you drop the bowl and then you take a good flathead screwdriver with a good tip this one works perfect it doesn't have a fat neck and goes right in picks the uh, jet out without destroying it <clears throat> and then you uh, screw the uh, new 0.45 jet in bolt on <clears throat> the needle valve and adjust it to the proper setting to run nice and smooth off choke in cold air or whatever temperature or altitude you're in um, now these work excellent for anything 4000 rpm and under now once you start reaching 41 4200 rpm and i run my hemi on this machine at 4400 rpm and i run the non-hemi around the same 4400 <clears throat> It still whines a little bit, but as soon as you put the machine under a load, or like if I turn on the auger, it smooths right out anyway. But um, I'm just going to show now. This is the Hemi 212 with the adjustable main jet on the carburetor. This is a non-Hemi, no adjustable installed yet. Now, they're basically the exact same carburetor. Obviously, the one's a Hemi and the other's a non-Hemi. One thing I did notice is before you put the adjustable uh, main jet in, the non-Hemi runs a little bit smoother with the choke slightly on at 4,400 RPM compared to the Hemi. The Hemi still runs a little rougher when you have just the stock uh, jet on there at 4,400. Now, as most people know, these engines are capable of running at 4,400 RPM uh, safely um, for many years, and you get plenty of years of service out of them. This engine's three years old. been running it at 4,400 on this machine now, commercially, no issues. This engine I just bought and installed, and um, that's the one thing I did notice. With the stock carburetor, this one runs a little bit rougher up at 4400, whereas this one will run a little bit smoother at 4400 with the stock carb jet. Now, 
same thing. When you're running above 4,400, um, even with the adjustable, this one will still run a little bit rougher at 4,400, whereas I'm sure that one will run a little bit smoother. <clears throat> but once you get 4,000 4, RPM and under, it runs perfectly smooth with this adjustable um, main jet. Now, like I said, as soon as you put the machine under a load, it smooths right out and still runs much better at 4,400 with the adjustable jet um, with no choke. So that's a great thing about this um, setup. Um, I was looking online. I was thinking about putting the .030 jet into my um, carburetor to smooth it out for winter. And then I ended up coming across this on Snowblower Forum. There's a gentleman who actually makes these. So I will leave the link for that so that you'll be able to purchase them. It's um, just under $10, $9 and change, free shipping. So I bought two for both my engines. Very easy to install. And now I will go ahead and demonstrate the difference uh, running this engine in winter um, with the adjustable main jet versus not having the adjustable main jet. All right. So first I'll run the non, the one that has no adjustable yet. This is just a show. Okay. Okay, so that's without the adjustable. As you saw, I had to run it with choke on for it to run smoothly. Now this engine over here has the adjustable main jet and you will see the difference. Choke on, on, here we go. running no choke right now. It is forty three degrees outside. So there's the proof right there. Um, that was no choke, ran perfectly smooth. Anything under 4,000. At 4,400, it still uh, winded a little bit. As soon as I put a load on it, it smoothed right out. So these adjustable main jets, they work perfect. Easy to install, easy to adjust, and I highly recommend them. So I will send, I will leave a link in the, um, description to where you can buy these and please if this helped you and if, if this is going to help you with your predator give me the thumbs up smash that like button and uh, rate comment and subscribe later tubes